Hello and welcome to yet another daily challenge. Uh, looks like there's some pretty good scores going on here. 49,000 to try and beat. But if not, I might actually get more around 30 grand. That looks pretty promising. I'm going to go over something that I probably should have gone over before homeopathy and dowsing rods. I'm going to talk about James Randi and his uh, education foundation and primarily about his million dollar challenge. So James Randi was the amazing James Randi. He was a magician and he still performs today I believe as a magician um, but he has also become a widely known skeptic. So he goes around trying to test claims of the paranormal. What he did in 1964 is he said that if someone could prove that they had psychic ability, then he would give them $1,000 if they could prove it in um, reasonable observation conditions. So um, basically a scientific test. Just like how scientists would test to see if a drug was doing what it claims to do before putting it out on the market, doing a double blind test and all that. James Randi was proposing to do the same sort of thing, but for psychics. And he would give a thousand dollars if anyone could prove, without trickery, that they could do psychic abilities. Now, you're probably guessing how this has gone. The not a single one has actually passed it and he actually got more support over the years and he got donations in for his foundation and now instead of offering a thousand dollars he is currently offering a million dollars to anyone that can prove under reasonable scientific conditions that they have um, any sort of supernatural ability any kind and this could even be something that potentially has a scientific explanation in the future. Um, there's an example of that actually in my videos. I have one that's called Seth Raphael Claims Randy's Million Dollar Challenge that you'll find quite interesting. Um, I'm going to leave that as the last link to watch, but it is definitely interesting. Um, did I get the damsel? Yeah, I did. I got him. Okay, so James Randi is in charge of the educa James Randi Education Fund, or JREF for short, and they they talk a lot about um, skepticism. Ooh, a jetpack. Oh, that that I have to steal that. That's mine. Um, sir, I am interested in your freeze ray. I'd actually like to test it out. Oops, sorry. Um, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> um, problem is, this is a dark level. I hate dark levels. It's better than a jungle dark level. Those spiders are very troublesome. Come on. I'm a little paranoid about using up my gas. And I'm using my shotgun as a light source. Um, oh, why did I do something that stupid? You can see the eyes. I should have seen that. Anyways, um, so you're probably wondering how many people have actually applied to this. Um, up to now, over a thousand people have filled out applications, and according to James Randi, over 400 people have actually done the testing. Because not everyone who fills out the application actually does the test, because that would um, that would involve some publicity, and obviously if they can't do it, then that's negative publicity. Um, so understandably, I could have shot the dog if he was over there. I bet he's right up here. No? Hmm. I hear the dog, but I don't know if I really want to linger around in this dark level. Oh, he's over here, I think. I have 16 bombs, why not? Uh-oh, uh-oh, that's not what I wanted to do. 
I was grabbing onto the wall at the time. Um, so over 400 people have applied, and not a single one of those 400 succeeded. There's a pickaxe here. And there's a trap there. You know, I'm not going to go for the damsel, I'm just going to continue. I know it's risky. So, I'll try and cover some of the aspects of the million dollar challenge, um, give some ideas. You have to fill out an application before you can even think of trying the challenge. Oh, maybe I should do this one the easy way. Yeah. So you'll fill out an application basically saying what your powers are, um, I believe you have to give evidence that you have had publicity about yourself, um, such as a local news story on you or something like that. Basically something showing that you have at least gone to someone else and shown that you have powers. Not someone who's going to test you scientifically, but you know, like going to a news story or being famous for your powers. Um, and this is really easy to do. All you really have to do is go to your local news place and, you know, just say, I have such and such power, I want to show it off for the world, and do it. There you go. Easy. Um, and another thing that you have to do is you have to, you have to give the test conditions that you would like to be tested under. Something that you really need to understand about this million dollar challenge is it's not James Randi coming up with a test that will obviously prove that it's not right. It is James Randi and the person who claims to have the power coming up with a agreed upon test that would truly test their abilities. So they're not coming in thinking, oh, I might not do this. They're coming in confident, and you will see this in the videos that I link. The people who start the challenge actually are... Well, that's... That was... Oh, no. They actually come in confident in their abilities. One of, one of the videos that I'm definitely going to link is something that I saw in my science versus pseudoscience course in college, and it was very interesting, so I thought I would share it with you. Um, it is someone named James Heydrich. I don't hear shooting. I wonder if those two killed each other. That would be very convenient. It's a good thing I have a jetpack. Okay, let's see. They killed each other! <laughs> oh, that was a blessing in disguise. Thankfully, he didn't shoot me in the process of running to the other shopkeep. I'm getting out of here. Sadly, I did kill the damsel in the process. Um, yeah, so, the video that I was talking about, James Hydrick claims that he uses various martial arts in order to focus his psychic ability... Oh, it's one of these levels. And he uses his psychic ability to... Uh, telekinesis, basically. He, to move, move pencils or turn pages in a phone book. And you'll see the video on James Randi testing it. And the main reason why I'm... You'll, you'll notice the videos are called um, Randy exposes such and such person. It's obvious that James Randy is going to prove that they're wrong. But the reason why I'm linking the videos is not to show that they're wrong, but to show an idea of what kind of tests you could do to show whether or not someone is psychic. And something fun that you can do as a thought experiment is you can think of a power that someone claims to have, and you could think of ways to test that, and I'm going to probably give more examples as I cover more pseudosciences. Um, I, I already know I'm going to come up with something for... Oh, come on. This is the trick with the gun, is you have to actually be sitting on the edge of the thing. If you're on a ladder, you're going to just shoot sideways instead of dropping it. Uh, I'm going to be nice, and I'm not going to use you as a weapon.
Uh, the another one that I'm going to link is actually multiple claims being tested. Um, it is a was it an ABC special? Yes, it was an ABC special. I made very small notes just to make sure that I remember very small details. Um, I don't want to make the mistake I made with the homeo uh, not the homeopathy, the dowsing rods. Oh, oh, oh God! I didn't think he'd see me yet. Oh, he got me. Um, but yeah, it's it's James Randy testing. I think two people, two different claims of actually three. Yeah, it's three. I got a good score though. I actually got the best score out of my friends. That's actually a pretty good score for me. But he tests uh, someone who claims to speak with the dead, someone who claims to read tarot cards, and someone who is a palm reader. And I'm going to show another one that is testing a few people. One of them claimed to be able to have an affinity with metal. So he said that he was able to bend metal or or make it more malleable with his mind, but if you've watched magicians do tricks, you know that there are spoon bending tricks. So there's also a guy that was a faith healer and it shows what he does. And basically I'm just I, I highly recommend watching all of the videos in my description because they're all going to show you aspects of what you should expect for this sort of thing. I'm going to have the official website for the challenge. I'm going to have an ABC special that shows a few different things being tested and it's very interesting because it shows you a way that you can test more scientifically something that's such a vague thing like someone saying they can talk to the dead. I'm going to link James Hydrick who claims to have telekinesis powers and I'm going to link one that that shows the person who has metal bending and also an evangelical and I'm going to show the Seth Raphael claims the one million dollar challenge and I highly suggest watching all of them they're all very worth the time that you spend to watch them so hopefully that was informative and and entertaining and I hope you have a good rest of your day I'm definitely going to have a lot of fun editing out my ums and stumbling over my own words. <laughs> I will see you next time.